Aloha, welcome to Keys to Success, which is live on the ThinkTech live streaming network series weekly on Thursdays at 11 a.m. We are your hosts. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. And I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. Welcome to today's show. The goal of this show is to provide professional and personal development tools and profound insights on how to achieve success in life, career and or business. Marina Keaton, CEO of Your Connection Hawaii, was our guest on our last show, and her words of wisdom can be accessed on Newman Consulting Services' website, newmanconsultingservices.com, or our landing page, danelia.org. Tourism may come to mind when many people think of industries in Hawaii. And while it is the strongest industry in Hawaii, the state's economy is rather diverse. Manufacturing, for example, is a strong industry in Hawaii and is primarily concentrated on Oahu. Products being produced include apparel, and there are jobs available for individuals who can sew. The textile industry has part and full-time positions available. The majority of the sewing and food service jobs available are located in Honolulu. Please call 596-0200 if you are interested in applying for these open positions. As a community service, Newman Consulting Services is assisting in increasing employment opportunities in our community by connecting the manufacturing industry and unemployed or underemployed individuals. Again, the number you can call is 596-0200. Our theme for the day is building a family business. Joining us today as our honored guest is Dana Lamb, pop jazz vocalist. Mahalo for joining us today, Dana. Thank you so much. Great to be here with yeah. you, too. Thanks for being right. here. Yeah. Hey, well, lovely to have you. So let's get right to it. Please share with us uh, a little about your family and how you got involved in, in the career of music. Okay, well, um, I... Uh, you know, had been a, an at-home mom for about nine years, right. and I'd had a career in interior design in San Francisco prior to that. And uh, when my daughters were finally in school in kindergarten, I had some time to myself to do something I had always wanted to do. So I started taking voice lessons, and uh, within a year, I was performing professionally. Wow! At the age of forty. That's great. Yeah, and uh, age of forty. At the age of forty. You, you're forty now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and um, I had no idea. I didn't take voice lessons to think of, you know, getting into the career, but uh, it just came so naturally. Mm -hmm. And um, listened okay. to Diana Krall on the radio, and I think to myself, that's that's the kind of music I want to be singing. So, uh, you know, living in the Northern California area, I started a career and, you know, was very fortunate to work with some wonderful musicians that's for great. about okay. 12 years. So, so before you started pursuing this career, did you, you really enjoyed singing, obviously. Did you sing I, at all or did you know you had a voice? I didn't even knew, know that I had a voice. Wow. In fact, uh, my first lesson with my vocal coach at Sonoma State University, uh -huh. Suzanne Pitson, uh, said, well, have you ever heard yourself sing? Uh -huh. I said, no. She said, well, you should go into a recording studio and, you know, record mm -hmm. a little song and then uh, play it back so that you can hear how you sound. And that's right. It was sort of a foreign idea to me. Uh -huh. um, you know, and I tell that to some of my friends now uh -huh. who are getting into, into uh, singing and yes. music. Um, and uh, I just found that uh, syncopation and that swing that uh, jazz music brought. Yeah. And then, of course, the improvisational yeah. qualities that you know what defines I love, jazz. Yes, yeah, so you know what, what I love about what you just said was that eventually, somehow, we find our path in life. Yeah, you know, exactly. We really and you're do. never too old. Yes, and, that's and right. That, and that, too was old. Be, that was going to be my next question. Yeah. You know, when did you start? But you shared, you started at 40. Yeah. And the thing is, but did your family encourage you or, or discourage you? You know, my family's always been supportive. We've uh, always been supportive of each other and mm -hmm. anything that we're interested in doing. You know, that's just kind of who we are. It's we, wonderful. We've uh, got very close relationships mm -hmm. with both our daughters and um our husband and I, my husband and I, mm. <laughs> not, not there. Right. That's, that's, right. that's right. We've been oh, married for 30, uh, four years, just on the tail of you guys mm -hmm. at 35 yeah. years. So, um, 35 long years. <laughs> oh, you're not. <laughs> so that's oh, what I always say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a long year. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, we were told that uh, 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 an, an older fellow said, you know, my son, marriage is a, 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 a partnership of, of three rings. You know, it's the engagement ring, and then it's the 
wedding ring, yeah. and then comes the suffering. Oh, no, John. <laughs> oh, it doesn't have oh, to no. be that way. No, uh, no. You no but you know, it's it's not, not, no, no, no. actually, I think the problem that a lot of people have, and we all are faced with challenges, oh, yes. uh -huh. you know, in personal life, yes. in family life, in business life, and... Um, it helps to have some tools. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Right? Oh, yes. And and the basic tool is communication. Absolutely. And communication can be the universal solvent. Yes. And you know, there's a very simple technique to having good communication uh -huh. that I find as I go through life and I meet people and I talk about this. Mm -hmm. um, not too many people know. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's being a good listener. Mm -hmm. It's really being there in the present moment and mm -hmm. able to duplicate what the other person is saying, mm -hmm. you know, so that you can really create some understanding with that person. Yes. And with that, maybe come some, uh, you know, reality, mm -hmm. common reality, and then that's what grows the affinity so uh, true. with another yes. person. Mm -hmm. So you true. Know? So, so true. if you understand this little technique, yeah. you can really make friends with yeah. almost anybody. That's true. That's true. Okay, so let me yeah. let me let me qualify what I said. I'll, I'll add. <laughs> He's going to backtrack I'll, out I'll of this add now. <laughs> a fourth ring. Yes. The enjoying. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we enjoy too. Oh, good. Glad yeah. you hear it. So right. I mean, hey. You know, what, what's worth living if you're not yeah. enjoying yeah. life, yeah. right? And life finding home. balance. Okay. So how did, your, how did your family become involved in this whole process? Well, um, I'll just kind of come up to present time, yes. if I may. So, um, you know, as an entertainer, I mm -hmm. mean, I, I found that the stage was a very comfortable place for me. Mm -hmm. um, I never would have thought that in a zillion years. Mm -hmm. um, but I actually took some classes that increased my ability to be comfortable mm -hmm. on stage in front of people. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and there's some techniques, you know, mm -hmm. you kind of walk around the stage, you make it your own, mm -hmm. you know, you've got that wonderful communication with your fellow musicians yes. mm -hmm. and with your audience. Yes. Um, so, um, with that, I started putting on shows, producing shows. Mm -hmm. I produced albums. Wow. Um, I was an, became MC for shows. Mm -hmm. And um, then I became an instructor and I mm -hmm. helped children. We had a teen jazz camp and I be right. became director of that in Sonoma for three years, which mm -hmm. was just a ball and, mm -hmm. you know, directed a charter school mm -hmm. um, choir. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Worked a lot with children in the community, mm -hmm. which Oh, that's so rewarding, that's isn't right. it? Oh, yes. love it. Yes. You know, children and music. Yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, my mother was getting elderly, and she wanted to move back here to her homeland. Mm -hmm. And she needed care. So we all decided to move back three and a half years ago uh -huh. and uh, care for her. And um, I had started over the last few years sort of um, expanding my comedic characters. Mm -hmm. um, I started out with Hula Rosie, mm -hmm. your hostess of Aloha, mm -hmm. who's from New York by way of Florida, originally from Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And it all started with my mother's opera wig. Mm -hmm. She walked into my room one day, she said, honey, do you want this? <laughs> she was holding up this disheveled mat of brown curls. I'm like, mom, what am I gonna do with that? Yes. <laughs> No. She said, well, I'll just throw it away. I said, no, no, don't throw it away. I'll put it in my closet. So sometime later, I pulled it out, put it on, and along with her anatomically correct coconut bra that she gave me, Hula <laughs> uh, Rosie was born. Uh -huh. mm. That's great. Okay. And so, yeah, it just started, uh, you know, doing yeah. parties and engaging people in Hula, mm -hmm. comedy Hula. Mm -hmm. okay. And so she came with me here oh. back to the island. And... Um, We've been having a ball. Oh, so family's been, been involved ever since the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yes, I absolutely. And that's a part it. of where, what we talked about earlier, communication, because, you know, John and I work together as well. So, you know, we have our moments, but communication's a key because when you work together and then you're home together, you know, you've got to be able to have that strong communication between you as a family in order for you to um, strengthen your relationship, mm -hmm. not let it wither away even though you're working together right you know, so that's critical right because we all have our our opinions and you have to separate the business from the the personal exactly yes. you know and there are things that happen that um kind of re-stimulate us and make us upset yes. about certain things and get yes. our temper rising right and right. that mm -hmm. never does any good for any kind Anybody. of relationship right. you know and we're all human so right. uh, um, being able to 
take ownership and responsibility yes. and apologize for that. Yeah. Helps to keep the air clean, yeah. which is so important yeah. because with any relationship over time, if you don't handle that stuff mm -hmm. and you keep sweeping it under the carpet, yes. the rug, um, that stuff builds up mm -hmm. and it tends to pull a relationship apart. Oh, yes. Absolutely. So if you understand these things, it helps, you know, when you're um, working as a family in a business. Mm -hmm. And I think also uh, a com comedy is very important yeah. in the fact that what I mean is that having a great sense of humor, being able yeah. to laugh about the difficult times, yeah. you know, and laugh about um, just have a good relationship with everyone in the family when you're working together because you have to be able to go through the challenge and then laugh about it and say we've learned from this and move forward absolutely right? yeah yeah so yeah. dana in your opinion uh, what would be the single most difficult challenge a, a jazz vocalist would have in today's uh in today's world well uh, certainly just a dwindling market Mm -hmm. you know, and dwindling work, mm -hmm. really, and dwindling venues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that is what kind of caused me to really expand my career. Mm -hmm. And when I made that decision to um, start branding Hula Rosie mm -hmm. as your hostess of Aloha, as somebody who can bring light and love and levity mm -hmm. through mm -hmm. comedy and entertainment, my husband and my youngest daughter, Carly, um, decided to support this mission. Mm. And so um, my daughter had been working full time with a lovely couple who have a roofing business. And she said, Mom, you know, I think I need to come to work for you full time. Mm. Wow. And that was like music to my ears yes. because, you know, starting a business, all the social yes. media that has to go mm. into right. what it is we do. Yes. Um, and then creating the portfolio, mm -hmm. you know, the foundation, sh being able to show people what we can do and who yes. Hula Rosie is with mm -hmm. videos and, mm. and whatnot. Yeah. Um, I could not do it myself. Right. So right. my husband and I have been writing comedy together for yeah. a number of years. Wow. So That's that wonderful. was always easy. Yes. We, we mm -hmm. did a screenplay for a feature-length film Great. called Dang. Temporary Lunch Ladies yeah. that hopefully someday soon we'll actually be able to make that happen yeah. because it's a, a great story uh -huh. very entertaining and fun it has a great message that runs through it but now that i have my amazing 23 year old daughter working with me it has made this dream a reality yes. and she has stepped up to the plate and has impressed me every single day with skills just a natural ability to yeah. do so many things mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. i could cry just because right. um i feel so fortunate yes. and um well, you know, I guess uh, one oh of the things is also you feel, also feel responsible because, you know, you've got to really make this business work because yes. you you the livelihood of your whole family. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. How did yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> so we're like, you know, on track yes. and every morning we're coming together and we're making a battle plan. Yes. And That's we make a list. Do. Okay, what are we doing today? What yes. are we doing for the week? Um, mm -hmm. Who do we need to get in touch with? Yes. And that's a big part of growing a business yes. Oh, yes. is a knowing who those contacts are that you need to be getting in touch with yeah. and letting yourself become known to them yes, yes so important absolutely so that went really quickly we're going to take a break um this is keys to success on the think tech live streaming network series we're talking with dana land pop jazz vocalist regarding keys to success my name is danelia d-a-n-e-l-i-a -E -E and i'm another half of the duo john newman we'll be returning in a minute so please stay tuned for more keys to success Aloha! Angus McTech here on Think Tech Hawaii with my favorite show, Hibachi Talk, every Friday from 1 to 1.30 p.m. Please join us with my good old buddy, Gordo the Texar and Andrew the Security Guy. And remember, let your wing gang free wherever you be. How you doing? Aloha! Hello, my name is Crystal. Let me tell you, my talk show, I'm all about health. It's healthy to talk about sex. It's healthy to talk about things that people don't talk about. It's healthy to discuss things that you think are unhealthy because you need to talk about it. So I welcome you to watch Quok Talk and engage in some provocative discussions on things that do relate to healthy issues and have a well-balanced attitude in life. Join me. Hi, I'm Stan Energy Man, and I want you to be here every Friday. Noon, thinktechhawaii.com. Watch the show. Be there. I pity the fool who ain't.
Welcome back. This is Keys to Success on the Think Tech live streaming network series. We encourage you to call our hotline at 415-871-2474 to join our conversation or tweet us at ThinkTechHI if you have any questions or comments. We've been talking with Dana Lane, pop jazz vocalist. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. -E and I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. Welcome back to the show. Dana. Yes, darling. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm, 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 I'm sandwiched between these two lovely ladies. Right? Just having a good day today. All right. Tell me, you know, share with our viewers uh, what what are some of the major challenges that you and the family have uh, run into, and how did you handle those challenges? Oh gosh, probably money and time. Mm -hmm. Right? Isn't okay. that most yes. people's challenges? All right. So. You know, my husband's a practicing architect, and we have to keep him working right. so that we can keep our daughter employed. <laughs> Got it. Until, you know, until we start making some money at right. this new business. Okay. So, um, you know, and, and just, you know, keeping the eye on the target. Yes. And we have found a little bit of um, help with something called an admi administrative scale, mm -hmm. which is a wonderful piece of technology for anybody who's wanting to set out and reach a goal. Mm -hmm. At the top, you've got a goal, and mm -hmm. below that is your purpose, mm -hmm. and then you've got policy, plans, mm -hmm. programs, orders, mm -hmm. uh, valuable final product, mm -hmm. you know, and all of these things kind of work together in getting you up to the ultimate goal. Right. And when you're working it, you're plugging things in, oh, I've got to make this list and i got to go do this right. and this and this, you know, and you're working it up and down until it's perfect. And right. then, of course, it changes, yeah. you know, week to week or month to month, depending yes. on, you know, your goal. But it's been really helpful in um, helping us figure out how to uh, maneuver, mm -hmm. you know, this brand new business yes. of um, production. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what's interesting is because a lot of people think artists, you know, like, like actors and actresses and just artists in general, they just go out and they just do their thing and, you know, somebody else is taking care of everything. And sometimes people don't understand that it doesn't matter what kind of profession you have, there's all that behind the scenes stuff going on and you've yeah. still got to set goals, have purpose, mm -hmm be committed, be driven. You've still got to have all of that no matter what career you choose. Absolutely. Yeah, because sometimes people think, well, I'll just do this or I'll just do that because it's easier. Yeah. You know, the experience has been, it doesn't matter what you choose, choose something you love because yes. it will never be easier, but it you you love what you do so it will help you keep that passion mm. exactly yes. and i've been lucky to be doing the music because ha huh, you know it's it's an amazing gift mm -hmm. to um, have that in my life to mm -hmm. the degree that it is but the behind the scenes really comes down to promotion mm -hmm. promotion and then some more promotion oh yes so i feel like for the last 20 years i've been constantly promoting myself mm -hmm. oh, no. <laughs> and know? it doesn't matter what career you have you're constantly promoting yourself yeah. people think it's you're selling yourself all the time and i think that's a that's not a positive way of saying it it's, right. it's promoting yeah. and connecting with people and that's how we all grow as individuals exactly yeah. you have to let people know who it is you are and what you're doing. Right. Otherwise, I mean, I knew some brilliant musicians mm -hmm. in the Bay Area, and they were world class, but yet didn't get a whole lot of work because mm -hmm. they didn't understand or they didn't want to do mm -hmm. the promotion. That's exactly right. Right. So true. They figure I'm just mm -hmm. talented, so I'll just go out there and do it. But no, there's a whole yeah. business in that that's associated. With and that. then, of course, we know those people who aren't quite so talented yes. but are doing very well yes. because they've got great promotional that's skills. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. You're exactly right. So. What is the best advice that you've ever received? And uh, what advice would you give a uh, young vocalist? Well, this is the advice that I used, and it helped me greatly. Um, I found out that the thing that can stop any of us from pursuing our goals in life are our own considerations and fears. Yes, so mm. true. Okay. They can stop us dead in our tracks. Say that again. That's a tweetable Considerable, quote. Considerable. Oh, sorry. 
Let me say that again. Yes. Considerations and fears yes. okay. are what stop us. Yes. You know, there's no brick wall. There's nobody mm -hmm. in our way that's saying, no, you can't do this. Well, mm -hmm. sometimes there is, but you just got to mm -hmm. <laughs> get out of my way. <laughs> but, you know, like when I was getting into a uh, field of entertainment at the age of 40, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I wasn't yeah. any spring check-in. Right. So, you know, the typical thoughts, oh, God, I'm too old for this. Right. I'm not pretty enough. I haven't right. been doing this enough. You know, right. all those... Well, I liken it to that whack-a-mole game mm -hmm. in an arcade that you see sometimes, where these moles rear their ugly heads and you got to yes. back, back <laughs> down, you know, before yes. they can bring their heads up. Yes. So it's much like that. You know, I'm not pretty, oh, yes. you know, yes. I'm not young, I'm, yeah, yeah you right. know. You really just have to acknowledge those thoughts and let them go and keep you know your focus That's on right. what it is you really love i mean if it's something you really want to yeah. do badly enough yeah. you know um you have to just go for it yes. you know and i know it's not always easy and there's lots of challenges and especially as i mentioned before time yeah. and money right. are two right. of the biggest challenges right. but um you know i've been fortunate to have the support of my husband uh -huh. you yeah. know i couldn't have done it without him yeah that's wonderful yeah. and what danielle and i we we teach a, a, a classes on motivation we teach classes on uh building team building and we call it stinking thinking mm -hmm. you've got to get rid of that stinking thinking mm -hmm. yeah and, and be positive exactly and, uh, you'll make it for the most part the only blocks that we have are the blocks in our mind mm -hmm. exactly. and that fear just goes up immediately when we go through a challenge and the 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 important thing is to understand that that is fear and you have mm -hmm. to somehow push that fear out of the way mm -hmm. and trust that it's going to be all right. That's right. And that's not easy to do because no. we just build so much stuff up here. Right? We do yeah. indeed. And um, I mean, it could even come down to a simple phrase that yes. was said to us as a child mm -hmm. when we were making a pretty picture. Right. Some kid or yeah. the teacher said, you know, you'll never be. So right. You can't draw. Right. You know, and that is enough to stick yes. with us our entire lives. Absolutely. Too. It's amazing, isn't it? It yeah. really is how we hold on to that for so much, so many of our years. And when you finally let that go, mm -hmm. you actually breathe again. I mean, exactly. It's amazing. Hey, can I yeah. share one of the things yes. that, that you went through? One of the challenges. Mm -hmm. um, my baby, she put a rubber band on her on a risk mm -hmm. and every time she thought something negative she pulled that rubber band and popped herself and by the end of one day yeah. her wrist was all swollen and she realized wait a minute I'm thinking the wrong things yeah I've got to look in the mirror and do some self inventory yeah. and retool what I'm doing yeah. Yeah. because yeah, that, that challenge just by popping herself, mm -hmm. work her up, work mm -hmm. her, work her yes. up. Absolutely. Know? Yeah, that's an interesting. Oh yeah, it's a experience. really good way of doing it. And actually, uh, the next day, I decided I was going to do it again. But I had so much <laughs> the fear. I, I had less fear about mo the think moving forward and positive thinking than I did about the fear of whacking myself again when I it was so painful so that kind of actually pushed me forward yeah because <laughs> you know? I, I as soon as the negative thought came on I said no nope, I'm not doing yeah. this again and so I'm <laughs> this self loathing yeah, right exactly yeah. exactly I love it. I love so it. yeah so why don't you ask you a signature Is question right? oh, I, yes. I oh. had a question before bring it on yeah. yeah you had a question what's the what's the motto no she's already oh, she talked about that. okay yes. all right so each and every one of our, our guests that come on, we ask a signature question, and we ask, what are your top three success habits? One. Okay. Keep the goal in yeah. the forefront of your mind. Okay. Meaning? Expound on it a bit. You know, just keep thinking about what it is you ultimately want to be doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, and having some sort of a written plan mm -hmm. that you can refer to mm -hmm. that keeps, I mean, whether you put it on your, you know, refrigerator or wherever, mm -hmm. you know, um, so you can see it daily. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, because it's easy to get um, distracted mm -hmm. oh, by yes. life's crazy things going mm -hmm. on all around us. So I think really staying focused. Okay. Um, 
Number mm -hmm. two would be to have a workable plan. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, I mean, I couldn't just go out and become an astrophysicist. Yeah. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. what can I do? What I, what do I love to do? Yes. And where do I feel I can have some really nice impact? Yes. That's important to me okay. as a person in my profession mm -hmm. is to really create a good effect on, right. on people, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or to a group of people. And, mm -hmm. and that's why uh, the family has rallied around me in mm -hmm. um, bringing these comedic characters to light. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number three, um, you know, uh, staying hydrated, eating mm -hmm. well, and going to the gym. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, that's true because staying that helps in me. It's right. true. I mean, you know, yeah. I've got to do this for a while. Yes. I've got to figure out, you know, i, I got to make sure I'm feeling good. Yes. Yeah, you want to enjoy. You yeah. want to be able to enjoy. You yeah. know, that's the key. It's amazing right. how not feeling good affects your mental state, affects everything. Yeah. So, you know, we have to make the time to just walk or just yes. work out or you always feel better. I mean, I always, I, I was telling John, you know, I, I get up really early in the morning, like at you know, 4.30 or something. And wow. sometimes I wake up and I'm like, oh, I really just don't want to go work out. I really, I have to literally put my mind to how I feel after I work out. That's what gets me out of bed. Yeah. And, and, and so, and then afterwards when I'm sitting, you know, I'll sit there and I'll go, wow, I'm so glad I worked out because I feel so much better. Yeah. And that's All what right. people don't understand. If they would just work out, yeah. That feeling that you get after that working out is the yeah. key. It is. It, it's all about, hey, I'm glad I did it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. how do you maintain your daily motivation and inspiration despite obstacles, setbacks, and pushbacks? Well, most mornings, Carly and I will sit and we'll just do a battle plan for the day. Mm -hmm. Okay, you do this, and I'm going to do this, mm -hmm. and try to stick to it. It's mm -hmm. easy to get pulled off, you know, to other directions, but just come back on track and continue on, on your list of mm -hmm. duties, mm -hmm. you right. know, for the yeah. day. That's really important to me. I'm all about lists. Right. Yeah. Right. All right, well, we're out of time. We'll have to wrap it up. Dana Land's words of wisdom with regards to keys to networking su success to f having a great family business can be found on Newman Consulting Services' webpage, newmanconsultingservices.com, and landing page, danelia.org. Thank you to you, our viewers and listeners, for tuning in. Thanks to our broadcast engineer, Zuri Bender, our floor manager, uh, Nick Sexton, and to Jay Fidel, our executive producer, who puts it all together. Thank you, Dana, for joining My us on the show, uh, sharing your me. insights to Keys to Success. They were really, really great. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. Happy yeah. to be here. All Thank right. You. Thank Tech Keys to Success. We'll be back on Thursday at 11 a.m. So please tune in and ask your friends and family to do so as well. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. And I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. <laughs>